For this first assignment, we're going to create a simple circuit that has a 5 volt power supply, a 220 ohm resistor, and an LED. So our final circuit should look like this. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to start from the main page on multisim.com and we're going to create a circuit. So we're going to click on create circuit. takes a minute to load up. And here is our blank canvas. So we really need just three things. We need the power supply, the resistor, and the LED. So if we come over here to the tool menu on the left, this is where we have all of our components. So we can click on sources, and we're going to use a DC voltage source for our power supply. And click to put that down, and we're going to come over and click on passive components, and that's where we'll find the resistor. So we'll click there, and then click again to drop it on our canvas. And finally, we'll come over to diodes, and we'll choose an LED. And we'll put that on our canvas. So now we've got the three components that we need. So the next thing we want to do is connect them together. To connect them, you just hover over one of the terminals of one of your components, and you'll notice that the cursor turns into a spool. It's meant to look like a spool of wire, and that shows that you can wire connectors together. So I'm going to click on the first terminal, and then click on the second terminal to connect those two together, and I'll repeat that for the remaining connections that we need. And if you want to hold the wire at a certain spot, you can click on the canvas there um, to anchor it there while you move it around and make other connections. All right, so now we've got our connections, but our component values are wrong. Remember, we wanted to have a 5-volt power supply and a 220-ohm resistor. But right now, we've got a 12-volt supply and a 1-kilo-ohm resistor, so we need to change those. To change them, all you do is double-click on the component, and you can change the values in two ways. So there's a slider over here that allows you to adjust by sliding this up and down. You can slide it um, to whatever value you want, so you can do it that way. Um, currently, it only goes between 0 volts and 100 volts. You can adjust the range also by clicking the up or down uh, arrows here. So if I click on the down arrow, now I can go between 0 volts and 10 volts. So I can move this pretty close to 5 if I want, but it's a little bit finicky, right? So sometimes it's hard to get the exact value that you want. Another way to enter the value is to come over here on the right-hand side and type it in. So I can double-click and just type in 5 volts and hit Enter, and that updates my value that way as well. Okay, So you can update the value either way that you like. I also want to update the value of this resistor. So I'm going to double-click on that, and I'll come over here and I'll type in 220 and hit Enter. Now that is a 220 ohm resistor. Now I've got all of my components the way that I want them to be. So I'm going to run a simulation and see what happens in this circuit. The way that I run the simulation is I come up here on the top left hand corner and I click on the play button. It says run simulation. So I click that and it's loading. And when I'm running, you can see that the LED turns red to show that it has lighted up. So that's all you need to do to create a simple circuit in Multisim.